Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dewan. Today, I want to talk about something that I mention often, especially on my Twitter. If you're not following me, you can hit me on Twitter. I changed my my Twitter handle from Dlight330. Now it's at Lab Every Day. Yeah, um, I kind of like the sound of that. You can hit me on there if you got questions or just want to connect with me. Anyway, I often talk about OneNote. Now I wrote about it I spoke about it I mentioned it in a couple videos but today what I wanted to do was kind of walk through how I utilize it to give you an idea on the power of OneNote because when you're studying for these certifications you're in classes you may be writing books or any type of note taking or documentation OneNote is a great place to document you know your processes but also for collaboration. In many enterprise environments, OneNote is a way to share notes, whether it be um, ticketing systems, whether it be outages, whether it be collaboration on um, just any type of meeting, mini notes or something like that. OneNote is a great place for everybody to kind of keep in touch. What I'm using right now is um, Office 2016 Pro. If you are using Windows 10 at home, I believe there's a cloud version of OneNote that comes free loaded on um, Windows 10. Now there is a way to get Office 2016 um, Pro for 10 bucks. And I'll put a link to this site in the description. It's through the Microsoft Home Use Program. What you do is you enter your work email, your school email. Um, I know if you're in the military, there's a way to get this for 10 bucks. This is a 200, $300 program. And you can also get Visio and Project through this program. So what you do is you go up here and select your, select your country, in your email. So John Doe at doe.com, and then just hit submit. And then what it'll do, if you are, if your organization is already in the system, it will go ahead and prompt you to buy the software. But if not, what you can do is contact your manager or um, human resources to find out if you all are a part of this program. Now that's that. Now let's get back to OneNote. So we're in here in OneNote. What OneNote is, is a place for you to basically store all your notes. You can take notes anywhere because there's a cloud version that you can sync with an app on your phone and be able to look at your notes there. And if you have multiple devices, you can just sync up your office to those devices and all your OneNotes would come to that one place. And like it says, you can organize. Some people put recipes in here, um, tips, shopping ideas, different checklists, notes, just everything in OneNote. And then you do it on your computer or wherever you go, and then it'll show it right on your phone if you have the app. And like I said, you can create shopping lists, checklists. OneNote is a great place. But what I'm going to really do is show you how I utilize it, just a portion, not too much. So I have this, this notebook over here. And it's for let's go to my vSphere one what you can do is you can take screenshots and basically type anywhere in one note so in my course each day i broke it up and i did screen shares of all my notes from that um vmware class and yeah there, here's the name so from day one um these are the files that i that I you that I had to save and so I just saved them right in the one note <laughs> that's that's like the coolest thing ever if you got pictures attachments whatever you can copy and write into one note um, and here's some more of my screenshots and what what's even better is we have this screenshot of the standard switch in vSphere 6.0 what I can do right now is I can just double click right on this picture and start typing and you can put notes right on top of that so um, these are standard switch notes, boom, right on top of whatever you insert in there. And so then I could take that even, even better. I could highlight. So I highlight that if I want to add an arrow, I can insert an arrow or I could draw an arrow. Um, so let's say I want to draw an arrow point into the virtual switch right there and if i want to change the color of it i can change the color to red like there's so many things you can do in this okay so the way i utilize this you create your notebook you can drop this down and so each up under your notebook you'll have different sections and then over here you have different pages and so this is where the power really comes in for me 
once you get your your sections so this is day one of the course and then under that okay welcome to vSphere uh, VMware vSphere 6.0 and now from there you can do an outline structure so let's say you're talking about the installation process now your your how to install initially now how to configure networking I could basically okay let's make this a sub page of that and let's make this a sub page there and I believe you that's as far as you can go but basically you can do an outline structure going three layers deep of your outline to me that's very powerful so I can kind of organize really efficiently and to give you just another idea of how you can do this for all of you that are taking your CCNA CSENT or any kind of certification you create a notebook here and then these are straight from the exam topics you take your exam topics and then okay so there's five sections to the CSAN network fundamentals land switching technologies routing technologies infrastructure services and infrastructure maintenance those are your five sections now from there you create pages so okay here's my notes from comparing and contrasting the OSI and TCP IP model right there so all of your notes you can put right here so you can put the seven layers of the OSI model here so seven layers um, application presentation session um, transport network data link and physical you can put all of those there and then you can go and do the same thing with the TCP IP model and then put notes beside that and now you come down to the next section all the way down here to any cast and so now when you're going through your notes if there's anything that you're weak on you can go right up in here and check it out in one note you can put your labs in there your packet tracer labs put notes on your labs take screenshots yeah that's another thing so okay so I'll, I have this lab here in my packet tracer what I could do is all right this is for my CCNA security I could Windows shift in the the S button at the same time so Windows plus shift plus S at the same time you could copy this that that screenshots it right there um, whatever you like you just highlight it and it copies it and now what I would do control V and copy it right in here to one note dope you can do that with um, screenshots you can do that with anything and if I if you got like a PDF or a word document you can do send it to let me see if I have a document in here that I can show I have this PDF for FI training networks what I can do right here is I can go over here to print and since you know how you print to a regular printer rather than print to a printer what you can do is print to OneNote and now print it's going to come up and ask you where do you want to print this to in OneNote so I'll put this in my F5 folder and I click OK and what's going to happen it's going to print to OneNote and now this whole document is now in OneNote man that's dope and it's loading it's still going out it's, it takes a while to load but now you have your whole entire document in one note so if you want to take a page from it if you want to write on it if you need to write something put some notes on top head it on um, edit it on top you can do that is to me that's amazing yeah so now it, it prints directly to one note and all you have to do is call it f5 networks training and now so if you got any type of training documents or books or any types of PDFs and you know you want to put them all in one place you can copy them right to OneNote but yeah, OneNote is very powerful another way to utilize OneNote is let's say you're on a help desk or some type of service support role what you can do is create a notebook in OneNote and title it trouble tickets or troubleshooting in those issues that you have that took you a while to resolve or are common what you could do is start saving your solutions in the OneNote and not only that not only saving your solutions 
or the steps that you took to troubleshoot in OneNote to create your own knowledge base. But what you can also do, let's say you reply to 50 emails a day and pretty much say the same thing or you close 20 tickets a day and pretty much say the same thing in those tickets rather than typing the same thing over and over what you could do is one note in in one note create a section for um ticket responses and then in that section copy and paste a general um response into one note and so that way whenever you need to close a ticket or reply or annotate a ticket you can use that general response and that's going to save you time I mean, OneNote is very powerful and you can be very creative on how you choose to utilize it. But I just wanted to give you, you know, some thoughts on how I use it. I didn't go very in depth. This is just a general overview. If you all have any questions and you would like for me to dive deeper, let me know in the comment section below. Or if you all have been using OneNote previously, let me know in the comment section below and leave some tips for someone else. I really appreciate everyone's support. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.